Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to make a rough sketch of the graph of each function. We have y equals ln of negative x and y equals ln of the absolute value of x. We're asked to not use a calculator, but to just use the graphs given in figures 12 and 13. Here we have the graph of y equals ln of x, and if necessary, the transformations of section 1.3. So our first function, y equals ln of negative x, Adding a negative sign means we're doing a reflection. The negative sign is within the function, not outside, right? It's not negative ln of x. Therefore, this is reflecting across the y-axis. So that's pretty easy. As x approaches, or sorry, yeah, as x approaches 0, just from the other side, the function is going to go in the same direction. 1, 0 becomes negative 1, 0. And the function still goes off to infinity, except here it's as x approaches negative infinity, right? We just have to have it be the mirror image across this line. So this is y equals ln of negative x. Here, we have y equals ln of the absolute value of x. So what does that mean? That means that we are taking the natural log, so these are the values, of the absolute value of the function. So, this is the, um, when, it, when x is positive, it's just y equals ln of x. So this graph right here. And when x is negative, it's not ln of x, it's ln of negative x. To illustrate what I mean by that, the absolute value of negative 4, right, when x is a negative number, is not negative 4, right, it's not x itself, it's negative negative 4 or positive 4. So if y equals um, ln of x when x is greater than 0, and y equals ln of negative x, as we can see up here, when x is less than 0, what is the graph of this function? Well, it's these two graphs combined. So with our original graph and graphing our other function, we've actually come up with the graph of the absolute value of x. So this is the graph of y equals ln of x. This is the graph of y equals ln of negative x. And together, they form the graph of y equals ln of the absolute value of x.